sort of take a video of Maki Kaita Tau Kaunga or Nati Rokau. Kuro a Ricky Rao Kaunga Kurari. Me hatu ki Kaita Mo Nafa Kaira. We fucker put the mic one in the tata. We fucker two fair a mic to Kuha Mo in Tina and Kau Papa. The Kau Papa Tino fucker hit a hit of Mo Kaita. I can come in Mo Papa Tino the Kurani Mo. Right a Tina Kaita and Tina Kaita and Tina Nata to Kato. Koe no, kia koutou, uh, kua tai mai i tēnei kaupapa, uh, kei te mihi atu kia koutou. Andy Fraser is my name, um, I'm principal at Ōtaki College and it's a, it is a real honour to stand here today and have an opportunity to speak with you. Um, I'd heard a little bit about the Clean Tech Centre um, as it evolved and I, I didn't really know a heck of a lot. And um, out of the blue, I had an opportunity to attend a presentation that was done here by the Mayor of Otrahanga, um, talking about you, uh, zero youth unemployment in that particular town. And that resonated very well with me because I think it was something immediately that I thought, crikey, um, Otaki with our can-do attitude, we could make this happen here. And um, while I was thinking and um, pondering that particular issue and that I had an opportunity to um, catch up with Stuart Pritchard and Stuart said to me look come and have a little walk around this place and I'll tell you all about it and by the time he had finished talking to me about the concept and um, what was happening here I, I kind of thought about Martin Luther King I'm not saying I'm anything like Martin Luther King but um, Martin Luther King never said I have a, had a problem he never said I had a complaint, he said I had a dream and he went out there and he made it happen and it struck me that this was a building full of people that have dreams and they're going out there and they had you know, no idea where they're heading but they were determined to try and find a destination, whatever it took and um, I thought crikey, that's all tucky, that's what we do. Um, we've done that for years. Why can't we do that with our young people? So this, this vision kind of emerged, I guess. Ōtaki College, the energy college, energy and learning, energy and the environment, energy and sport, energy and culture. But it kept on coming back to the fact that we can and had a special place that our young people could lock into and be at the cutting edge of new technologies around sustainability and protecting our environment. So some more talk, talks took place and I have to say, um, Lee, you are an absolute inspiration. Um, when you came in and, and talked in our office um, at the college, um, his enthusiasm, you couldn't contain it. And um, I was very lucky, I want to acknowledge my head of department, Bruce Anderson, head of science. Bruce could see the opportunity, so the first project that we've embarked on has been with the blended emulsion fuels. Our year 12 students at the college have um, used an adapted achievement standard that Bruce has worked on. They've worked steadily away to gain their four credits, but I think more importantly than just gaining four credits, they've actually been um, working on something which we believe is not only an Ōtaki first, or a Kapiti first, or a New Zealand first, it's a world first. Our kids are working on projects that have put a blended fuel into our vehicles that we're running at the college in a, in a bus here um, that's going to really reduce emissions and do something special for our environment. And um, our two um, young people will talk to that a little bit uh, further down the track. I guess the other thing that's um, come out of this too, and it's um, great to have Arthur Graves from the Ministry here, is that we're now embarking on closer relationships with tertiary education through youth guarantee schemes. We know that Fitiraya had the foresight to have little greenies and bring up the building project up here. I want to acknowledge you, Lawrence, for, for coming along that journey. Um, but we want to see this as a centre of learning. This, to me, is a classroom of Ōtaki College. It's an extension of where our people will now come and learn. And when the tertiary institutions come to this area, this will be the place that they will come because Everyone can go to a youth guarantee scheme. Everyone can go and work at a, at a um, pre-trades <coughs> course. But not everyone gets the opportunity to have environmental, sustainable um, science added to that so that they are then given the extra edge when they go out to the job market. And that's what we want for our young people. 
in this town and beyond in Kapiti. So um, I really want to acknowledge um, the work that's been done around that. So I've talked a little bit about our vision. Um, I do want to, um, I know that there's a lot more to go and I don't want to take too much longer, but I do really want to acknowledge Stuart for his um, determination to set this up um, here in Ōtaki and the determination of the trustees to support him. Um, I do want to really thank Dr Stephen Finlay for the fine work that he's been doing. I do not know after travelling around with him how his brain is not just complete mush by the end of the day, but he seems to be able to encapsulate the thoughts of many people and um, put them down in a pragmatic sort of Scots way and um, seems to still keep it together. And I thank you for the time that you've given us, um, Stephen. It's really appreciated. Also want to um, really, um, apart from that, thank Mayor Jenny Rowan. Um, Jenny is a big picture person. She's had to make hard decisions and always along the way has got the picture. And she's certainly got the picture around education and um, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you to our Mayor for the support that she has given Ōtaki College, Tony Lester for his involvement in allowing us to embark on other projects that will give our young people the edge as they go into the workforce and become the kaitiaki of the future. I also want to thank some special staff from KCDC because they, they have been just magnificent. Dr Gail Ferguson, the work that she did when she was a member of that team um, and the support that she's given me, Kath Edmondson and Sue Hurst for the way that they've been um, tying up projects that our college are involved in. I want to thank them for their energy because it's been absolutely brilliant and we could not do the work that we're doing at the college without that support from these staff. So um, in closing, um, once again Lee, thank you to you, Blended Fuels, for the opportunity you've given us. Um, thank you to all the clean tech businesses that are now rallying around. I'm not going to say too much more, but our dreams go beyond Blended Fuels. They go into power, electricity, all sorts. Um, so that's um, where Jake, I want to acknowledge you with that, the work that you've done. Um, again, just setting us up brilliantly for moving into our new projects um, and again I don't know where you get the energy from but um, it's a real credit um, so keep your eye out for Ōtaki College um, it's a great place to be we believe it's the best college on the coast um, we actually think it's the best college around but anyway um, that's my opinion I'll hand it over to my two students Tuscany Thatcher and Alana to um, maybe say a few words from the perspective of a, a year 12 student at Ōtaki College Huri uh, rana, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā rā tātou katoa. Kia ora.